everybody. I hope you are having a fantastic day right now. And as you can see, this review is starting off a little different than my other reviews. Because you can see a Lego Creator Seth box in front of you. The underwater robot, to be specific. So, yeah. Now, it may seem like I'm doing a review on the set, but no. I have come up with an idea that was inspired by a, another YouTuber named Mindbender. It's just put M1 and, and you'll probably see him pop up because he replaced a lot of the letters with numbers. So yeah. If you want to find his channel, do that. <laughs> it's kind of confusing to remember. But yeah, I'm just saying it. But as you can see, this is the underwater robot like a crater set in front. Now, as I said, I had this idea and I was inspired by Mindbender. And Mindbender did this series where he would take a Lego creator set and use the different pieces of the Transformer. And I have decided that I want to do a series like that. So, Welcome to the first episode of X Modulator Remodulations. That honestly probably does not make any sense in the English language, but I do not care. <laughs> so yeah, start there. So, this is the underwater robot right now. It's a robot, and you make this thing and that thing. I have decided not to make that, and make, who, I don't really have a name yet, so I'm just going to make a fake name for him. I'll accept name suggestions in the comments. Uh, yeah, I got it. Aquaticus. That probably won't be his final name, but I'm calling him Aquaticus for this review, and this thing is not lined up, which bothers me. Alright. Okay. Back to the figure. So this is Aquaticus in his was supposed to be an underwater drill machine. Has these drills on it. <laughs> Can't you see it? A machine that's supposed to walk on the seafloor using these legs. And can I drill for ore and minerals like this over here? I had an idea and I thought it would be cool to execute it. But yeah. So, this is Aquacus and his, I guess it would be considered a vehicle. Yeah. In his vehicle mode, and yeah, it's pretty interesting. Not like, wow, well, what is that interesting? It's just a lot of stuff going on trying to take it in. So he has the drills on the side, two of them. They're on these bits, so you can't pose them really. So you're just gonna have to use the rotation over here to your advantage. <laughs> but just right and get it looking pretty good. But yeah. Aquaticus is fairly simple. Not too much going on. He has his legs right here, which he can use to walk around with. He has a claw right here from the hold things. So, just pop this off, and that came off. But I'm just going to take all the stuff off this, because it'll make it 50,000 times easier for me.
up there. I have a brick separator for a reason. Getting the stuff back together. And put this in the claw and you can carry it around. So, yeah, carry that back to the surface or to wherever he's going to take it. And yeah, bring this back in. Yeah. So, I think I've done enough talking about this mode and its features. Let's get to the robot mode. So you're just gonna wanna start by taking off the little drill bits. Boo, parts forming. I don't care, okay? That's the only parts forming in this. Deal with it. If you wanna store them, you can put them right there. Let's move that. So, what you're gonna wanna do is come to the front Unfold this section, bring that down, rotate it, extend the fingers, split them there. On this side, you're going to bring it down and bring it up at the ball joint and kind of just finagle the fingers over here to whatever position you want. I bring that a little bit because it's easier to transform them that way. Now, I'm going to come to the bottom and bring down the legs the knees stand them up and bring down his arms now come to the back at this red bit you're going to bring it up Takes the hose section and now plug into the side of the arm. Honestly, if you want to, you can just pop it off. Actually, it's way easier. But I am trying to do this transformation with FF. And now I just kind of open this up and you fiddle with the head right here. And get that all situated and there you have Aquaticus not going to be his name probably I don't know leave suggestions please but yeah in his robot's mood I'm bringing him closer to the camera his head is in this big dome which I imagine is armor for him. He has hose coming out the back, which does help his design to make it more interesting, because otherwise it's kind of just your average bot with a claw hand. But yeah. If you can use the dome as just an optional thing. It's more optional than it's needed, but yeah. You can bring that back, and bring that back. Bring back down the head, and if you don't want to even see the dome, you can just come here, use the ratchet joints, bring it back, and bring it down. And yeah, that's Quarkus without the dome helmet, which is now just on his back. And yeah, this lets you get a better view of his head sculpt. And also, if you haven't noticed, the lighting in this video is a little different. Because I have finally gotten my new lamp. Hooray! It didn't take that long, actually. It was like a day or two. But yeah, it's, it, it's great. It's on camera. But yeah. I believe the tripod will be coming, yeah. That will arrive soon, and that will definitely fix this tripod. I'm probably never going to use this tripod again, unless I can't use the other one for some reason. But yeah.
his articulation. So, it is pieces that Quarkus is made of from the set. I didn't have the right pieces to have an actual correct neck joint, so he has this weird hinge piece that his head is on, but you can look down and up and up even more and backwards behind him. <laughs> no rotation, but meh, whatever. The arms can do a full 360, but get interrupted by the hose. If you want, you can just pop it out and finish doing a 360. Like that. Go in and out. He has over 90 degrees bending at the elbow on both sides. And put the hose back in. It's annoying me. I don't know why. There. On this hand, it's gonna be popping parts off. How amazingly useful! Okay. <laughs> so, on this hand, it has a ball joint at the wrist, so rotation and up and down movement, which she used up and down more for transformation, but yeah. And each finger is on an individual hinge. So yeah. And on this side, he has a ball joint at the wrist. He has a thumb, goes up and down. Fingers can spread here and you can close those up, all that. So yeah, next moves the arms. Let's get two legs. His leg can kick forward that far, back only that far because this gets in the way. He has way over a 90 degree split. That's if you want, and he can go farther, but arms, once again. So yeah, he has rotation above the knee, and then he has 90 degrees at the knee, and that's it. He's not going to be winning the award for most articulated figure ever, but hey, if you want, you can do it. And I was trying to put the dome back up, but that popped off. Okay, let's just let's break the figure and fix the figure to do one simple thing. There you go. So, yeah. Of Aquaticus, probably not going to be his final name. I'm just gonna take this and <laughs> but yeah. Consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video if you did enjoy. If you want to check out more of my videos, you can and click on my channel icon to see my homepage where you should see the videos. If not, then there's nothing wrong with your device. But, yeah. There's a series he called it Mind Bending for his Lego creator Transformer things. Hey, yeah, please go check him out. He's a great YouTuber. I think you'd really like him. And yeah, I hope that you have a great day and see you. <laughs>